OCO, no hey June. First, we want to start off this video with just taking a moment to sit down and breathe. Relax your hands and your legs and put your legs in a position that you're going to be comfortable with sitting and just breathe nice and deep and slow in and exhale out. I do this every day to get in connection with myself, with my spirit guides, and just to reconnect my chakras, make sure that they're in line, make sure that I am ready and rooted for the day. This is probably the biggest step that anyone could do first thing in the morning before you start your day. That way that your mind is clear and you are concentrated and you feel like you know what you are going to do today and you feel um, more relaxed and at ease. So take a deep breath in and out. Osta. Good. Now we will continue on with this video. It's time for a vision quest. Now I am doing this video for a very dear friend and I can't believe that I haven't done this um, for everybody else. So I really hope that you guys take away from this and um, find a way to do this. Um, Cherokee tribes used to do this a lot, and um, it was mainly for the young boys to go out and to find themselves and figure out their place in the tribe. And I've actually got a song that I made about this, um, so maybe one day I'll post it. But they go out and they find themselves, and they are there alone, and they are um, finding who they are. They have to sit in the woods and they have to keep their eyes closed so they can feel the sun shining on their face. They're not allowed to look at anything, any noises, anything around them. And they are by themselves, completely alone, finding out who they are and the spirits will come to them. So um, that's where a vision quest comes from. Now there is a lot of variations to vision quests. Uh, throughout time, people change stuff, people uh, do different things, so it's really interesting to find out all these different ways that um, a tradition through the Cherokee tribe has um, expanded, and I know there's other tribes as well um, that have done this, and vision quests actually have become more open to where it's more of a open thing. People, women, and kids, um, girls, boys, women, men, um, they all do vision quests. And it's probably the most pure, amazing, absolute way to find yourself. Whenever we feel sad, all that is some fear that we have in our head. So it's a separation that is rooted in us in our chakras, in our minds, in our beliefs that we have to have that fear. So whenever we feel sad, and any time we're ever feeling less than happy, then it's a belief that we have instilled in ourselves, in our community, as we are now. Uh, we have installed that happy is a belief that we call truth. And if we're not happy, then it's true, and it's not. Um, we believe it to be real. So if we believe sadness and feeling alone and hopelessness is real and it's instilled in our mind, then we're going to always think that for ourselves. Um, it's easy to say this if you're not experienced in it. But if you experience this great sadness and this feeling of emptiness, 
then it really, really is something that you can relate to. And it's nowhere near peaceful. It's, it's unhappy. It's unkind and depressed. And not nowhere near peace. Um, so how do you get to that place of peace? That's your next question. How did I get to the place of peace? How do you find these beliefs and clean them up? Clean up the clutter in your mind and um, get rid of all the roots that is rooted in the fear in your mind. That is always the question. That is always the question. How do we clean that up? We can clean our home. We can clean our clothes. We can clean um, toys. And we can remove things from our life. And that helps with the exterior of us. It helps with our rooted being on the outside. But it doesn't help with our inner being on the inside. We are a part of an absolute. We are a creation. We are the universe spirit. Our bodies is just a vessel. So when we're cleaning up outside of our minds, we're only cleaning and clearing half of what we are. Now a few things to um, really think on is, um, can you do this? People compare lonely and alone as um, the same thing. They try to say, okay, I'm so lonely. I feel so alone. But it is two different things. When you go on a vision quest, you're going to be alone. But you're not going to be lonely. You're not going to feel alone because you have all the spirit and all the guides. And yourself, you'll feel full and you will feel happy. You won't feel depressed inside and alone. Loneliness is just a complete emptiness within you and your longing for a connection someone to talk to you or to be with someone but regardless we must clean and cleanse and reset ourselves as a human as a person as a spirit of the universe and reset who we are and the great thing is is we can do this through a vision quest So I told you guys I was going to set you up with a good food list. Um, the food list that you need is called live foods. Live foods are plant foods that have not been heated, cooked, processed, or refined in any way. It's as close to its original state as it possibly can. That's the reason why it's called uh, live foods or raw foods. It, is, it includes uncooked organic vegetables, raw fruits, uh, raw nuts, seeds, grains of all kinds. Um, the reason why it's so good is because it has healing powers and they're very healing. Um, live foods are consumed fresh and raw and just as close to the vibrant living state as possible. Um, so it's really good. Uh, live foods are plant foods that have not had anything. I keep saying this. No heat, no cooking, no process, no refine. Nothing is done to them. They are eaten and consumed just as they are. And I know I'm doing a ton of talking, but I want you guys to get the fullest experience out of this. Um, it is lengthy, so I'm sorry, but I really think that you guys are going to benefit from this. So bear with me on 
the explanations. Um, next, in your to go bag, you will need to take tea. Um, chamomile tea, um, honey tea, green tea, any type of tea that you want. Um, I do this on day two. This is for a simple spiritual tea ceremony, uh, turning the power of presence. And I do this on day two. Um, so while other people think of tea and they think of tea parties or sitting down and having tea with somebody, um, it's really a lot more than that with this. Uh, the presence of uh, power is absolutely amazing. It is a bit of awareness, a dash of presence, and it is slowing down long enough to truly enjoy your cup of tea. This was the uh, vision path that we're on in our uh, vision quest. It really helps to um, ultimately open you up spiritually. And it is also something that you can take and do in your everyday life after this journey as well. The power of presence is the presence um, of understanding a spirit. Um, as a spiritual being in human form, I'm trying my best to explain this to you guys. Um, one of our biggest opportunities is learning to integrate our direct connection with our divine into our daily lives. So um, you can do this even without being on this vision quest. You can do it during the vision quest. And it's just something that will help keep your chakras open. You can look more into this online or um, if you guys want a fuller explanation on this then I can do another video. Um, you're basically going to offer up your cup of tea to the Divine Spirit and um, you're going to uh, linger in the present moment with your tea. As it steeps and as you're holding the mug you're going to caress it and you're going to um, offer the fragrance as a gift and dedicate the mug of tea um, to the present moment that you're in, to peace on earth, to all beings and awakening or whoever or whatever moves you in that moment. Um, you're going to carefully rotate your mug in four cardinal directions, allowing this symbol to invite a sense of opening within you and you can choose to focus on your opening of your heart and raising your vibrations around you to receive messages from your angels as you take your first sip. Um, so you're really in the present moment. You should feel the warmth, taste the flavor, sense the energy, smell the aroma, and tune into gratitude for the little moment of joy that the tea is bringing you and stay in that moment and feel the warmth. If you happen to have something interfering or coming back from the past, stop, refocus on your cup of tea and restart. I can fully um, explain this to you a little bit better in a, another video which I will do or you guys can uh, message me directly and I will uh, tell you what I mean a little bit more in depth on that. But that's what I do for my day two of my vision quest.
make sure you do this step, it's very important. Okay, next step is setting the space. When you arrive to the spot for your vision quest, which I know some of you are like, well, where, where do I do this? Really, you can do it anywhere. You need to um, just gather your things up, walk around. Um, if you're hiking or going to a reserve, a park, any area that you're going to, you need to make sure that you walk around and feel the area. Um, what you look for is a space that speaks to you. So it's wherever you feel really comfortable and uh, it has great energies around it even if you don't go camping anywhere even if it's a place inside um, make sure it's a spot that makes you feel wholesome and comfortable and um, speaks to you and has great energy so once you do this you need to make sure you do your circle you need to draw the circle about 20 feet in diameter around the area you're staying even if you're inside and you're using an inside area you can still set up your tent still set up your stuff all the same make sure you put your circle 20 feet around it so you'll want to make sure you have that room around your tent um, and if you've got rocks you can put the rocks around it if it's inside if it's outside put the rocks around it and then I also like to add salt this is a, just an extra protection uh, the salt keeps out uh, negative energies, negative entities and spirits, and um, anything that is bad that is trying to invade the space uh, will not be able to cross that. And um, that's why there is also the stones. It's just an extra protection for uh, you. Um, when you're in your meditative state and you are doing your vision quest, you don't want to have that um, opening for anything and everything to come in while this is going on. So please be sure to make sure you put your circle of rocks and do your line of salt around that. Um, and make sure that you take with you if you're outdoors, indoors, it doesn't matter. You want to be able to... Um, have like your garbage bags and stuff like that it, for water bottles and such because you're going to need um, quite a few bit of water so um, make sure that you take your bags with you and if you end up taking um, the raw foods with you too you know it's just good to have it so that you're not making a mess and you're not having to worry about that um, if you're needing to go to the bathroom during this, and I know most of y'all were like, what do we do? If you don't have one of the travel bathrooms that you set up for camping, they actually have the little disposable bags. And if you don't like that, well, ideal at all because they're really not eco-friendly at all. But if you have those, those are good. If you're inside, just... When you have to go to the bathroom, you can come out, go straight to the bathroom, but you must come straight back. Um, you don't want to communicate or do anything outside of your circle while you're outside of it that has to do with computers and phones and cooking for people and doing things or communicating with anybody at all because this is your time to concentrate on yourself and it will just break it all. So um, make sure that you do not get distracted in the process of going to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom, you get back in. Um, if you're camping, you're already in solitude, so it doesn't matter if you're in the woods or if you're camping solo. Um, you're already by yourself, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, being inside of your home, if you have a family and stuff like that, it, it is easy for you to get distracted, so do not let that become a thing just make sure that you're able to go straight in straight out with no distractions so you don't lose your focus and why you're doing this
congratulations, you're now ending your vision quest. When you get to uh, your third day of your vision quest, make sure that you break down everything and have it ready to go before nightfall. You don't have to stay any longer. Make sure you pick up all your trash and all your items and get everything ready to go. This is Vision Quest by Black Elk. A vision quest is an experience of deeper understanding of nature and spirit. It is a ceremony practiced by American Indians. To prepare for this insight, one must first cleanse the body and mind, going through a sweat lodge. Then with the help of the holy man is told certain things and must go to the spot, usually on holy mountain, and stay for two or three days. During this time, no food is eaten, and no, not one does not sleep, but spends time in deep prayer and observation. Many times, but not always, there is a vision. I hope that you guys find yours. Peace, love, and hope. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening in. And make sure that you hit the button, subscribe, click the bell for all new videos. Bye, guys.